legends. legends. I'm Jazzy. And I am Robbie. And we are going to tell you how to have a cheap date night. Yes. We thought it would be a great idea to give you some tips on how to have a date night in. First date night that's very simple is a movie night. Yeah, so when we normally go out to the movies, we spend about $50 on tickets, then we also buy drinks and food. And Jazzy's favorite food to eat when we go to the movies is popcorn. Yes. And specifically, caramel popcorn. We trialed and aired <laughs> some recipes, yeah. and through that, we kind of figured out what was the best one for us, and yeah, that's the one that sure. we're gonna show you. Now, we're gonna talk about movies, because movies are a hard thing to pick. It's date night, you don't know which one to pick, and you guys both wanna watch your favorite movies. If you're a girl or anyone, it can be anyone, but most girls I know will be like, I wanna watch romance. And if you actually go online too and look up movies to watch with my boyfriend, a lot of them will come up with these romantic movies. Now boys, you've got a type of movie that you guys are probably gonna watch and no girls are gonna be that excited to that. <laughs> Action movies, all that Lots kind of, of sporting action. movies. I don't know many girls that like watching sporting yeah, movies, documentaries, anything like that. It, so essentially what we're saying is action movies aren't bad to watch, but the girls normally compromise and watch those. And romance movies aren't bad for guys to watch with their girlfriends, but they're also compromised. So I have come up with a term called minimize compromise. Yes. Yeah, so where you're essentially picking a movie that's in the middle, it's got a little bit of romance, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of action, a little bit of thriller, everything thrown into one awesome movie where you're minimizing the compromise, both parties are happy and you're gonna have a great date night. And so I think there are three categories that you can be safe with. Yep. Comedy, thriller, and horror. What, you forgot? <laughs> you, I did forget. I scared her. <laughs> Personally for us, we always like the comedies and yep. the thrillers. Well, yeah, horror movies aren't our forte. They're not. No. The th like, well, I guess thrillers kind of keep you on edge and you can't, your I know, heart's but racing. but thrillers for us are yeah. horror. Horror, so <laughs> horror, yes. <laughs> Me watching a thriller is essentially a horror movie because yeah. I'm scared the whole time. Yeah, so we have a few suggestions. Comedies is our first category. Yeah. And these could be movies that you could watch with your significant other, friends, whatever, whoever you're having your date night with. Yeah, and both parties will be happy. Yeah. The first movie we recommend you guys watch is The 40 Year Old Virgin. Now, this was from like 15 years ago. It's a funny one yeah. though. Wax that whole Teen Wolf thing off. No! Kelly Clarkson! Ha! And Steve Carell is the lead. So Steve Carell's from The Office. He's from a bunch of other movies. Get Smart. A bunch of funny stuff. He's the lead. It, it's so funny. There's so many cameos from Seth Rogen, Paul Rudd. It's just, I don't know. I know a bunch of people that like didn't really like Steve Carell, watched it, loved it. I think it's also something that you can re-watch as well. Yes. You might not have watched it with your significant yeah. other before and watching it together might be funny to share Absolutely. the laughter yeah. together. All right, <laughs> next movie is Bridesmaid. I had a dream last night that we went down. You were in it. What? Now, I actually haven't watched this one yet, and either has Robbie, no. but everywhere we look up, it's got this in the comedy section. We search up top, top comedy, comedy movies, whatever. Bridesmaids always up there. It's got Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig. They're from, like, Ghostbusters. She's yeah, the plot is, like, the best friend. She's jobless. She becomes bridesmaid. Uh, maid of honor. <laughs> no, she becomes a maid of honor, and all of this stuff happens. <laughs> So yeah. I'm keen to watch that one. Next movie is, which I love, is Why Him? A man's daughter is the center of his universe. And then one day, you come face to face with the love of her life. The Flemings are in the house! Yes! Oh it God. is so funny, I think. Even for a girl's perspective of when you have to introduce a guy into a family, I think it's just funny. And guys mm. might relate to it with Very the relatable. relationship yeah. with meeting a dad and everything. I oh. actually haven't seen it, so I'm kind of keen. Oh, you have to watch it. We're going to have to watch this. Mm. Another one. This one is an older one, and it is Something About Mary, starring Cameron Diaz and, oh, what's the, what's the guy that does the blue steel? 
I'm um, Ben Stiller. I have no idea. You don't know who Ben Stiller is? Oh no, I do. I don't know what Blue Stiller. Are you going to the prom? I I don't. Yeah, I think proms. Because I thought maybe um, dumb. we could go together. Oh, you, you're gonna go with like a bunch of people, or <laughs> like, yeah? You want like a designated driver? I can... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you and me, we could. Go so together. it's it is basically sort of a love story one, but there's a lot of funny things that happen. The first scene makes you cringe and crack up all at the same time. So it's more rom-com than comedy. It is more of a rom-com one. But rom-coms are still great. They yeah, still tick the boxes, still very funny. funny, great for a date night. I yeah, think. if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest it. The last comedy we suggest is actually a brand new one on Netflix. Yeah. It's called The Wrong Missy. Don't spoil it though. A suggestion. Don't though. watch the trailer. Don't read the blurb. Don't read the blurb. It spoils the entire plot, but it is so funny. It's called The Wrong Missy. It stars David Spade and Rob Schneider's in it. So a bunch of guys who did the grown ups, like, you know, Adam Sandler's friends. Yeah. All those guys. Funny. A lot of the jokes are a bit cringe, but a lot of it's quite funny. And like, they they, they made a comedy and it's funny. I <laughs> they, 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 they made they, a comedy. They made a comedy and it's funny. And guys, the second category of movies that we recommend for you is Thriller. Yes, and we all, oh, I love Thriller. Robbie never really watched Thriller before I, I didn't really know that Thriller was a category. I always kind of thought Thriller movies were scary, like horror movies. Yeah, which they sort of sometimes yeah. have a little bit of jump things. Yeah, they're but suspenseful and keep you kind of- I kinda... like the psychological part of it where you're yeah. just like, wait, what? Yeah, there's Who so many that? twist turns, um, yeah. It, you... <laughs> <laughs> it gets you freaked out. It gets you flustered that you can't even talk on camera. <laughs> but yeah, but um. <laughs> and these these are our top five suggestions. Now, one of the per one person that is in every thriller movie that I love is Liam Neeson. Yeah. So the first one I'm going to suggest is The Unknown. Welcome to Berlin. Can you tell me? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Now, this one Robbie watched the other night, and it's sort of like this guy basically gets in a car crash, so Liam Neeson gets in a car crash, and just wakes up and finds out that this person's impersonating him. You're on edge the whole time. That's what Thrill is about, and you're thinking about it. You're not just watching it mindlessly. It's not like a comedy where you can just laugh and switch yeah. off. You've got to be thinking about it. You've got to remember details that happened in the first five minutes of the movie. Because it all comes and unravels. It's really great. Yeah. The the great thing about Liam Neeson movies like The Unknown, you know that there's going to be a little bit of action because yeah, he does yeah. a lot of fight scenes and I think that's going to be great <laughs> for the guys. No we've noticed there's a trend that in every Liam Neeson movie, the character's backstory is it's, either an ex-cop, <laughs> uh, an air he's marshal. He's some type of fighter. <laughs> he's got training experience. <laughs> he's always breaking out a couple of yeah. fight moves. It's so funny. But <laughs> it's a great one and I suggest to yeah, watch definitely. it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Unknown. Now, Second thriller, which is more on the psychological side again, because I like the ones with the twist, is Shutter Island. Now that stars. Yeah, it stars Leo DiCaprio and Mark Ruffalo. They're the two main leads. Yes. And give you a briefing about the institution. All I know is it's a mental hospital. But they're criminally insane. So what happens? Basically what happens in Shutter Island is they are two detectives that go on this island that is made as like a mental health facility and they just have to find all these things that start happening and... Yeah, there's a bunch of weird... There's a lot of weird stuff going weird on. Weird stuff happening and you're watching and you're like, this is crazy, how is this? And then the ending... It just gets you. The ending is so split, you watch it and there's so many YouTube videos about like what What's what the, the ending, ending what the ending means. So and this all that one's kind of stuff. a great one for discussion because you guys could have completely different opinions of what you think is actually true. I yeah. think you had a different. I opinion had a different to opinion me. to what you and your we dad thought. We can't tell them though. No, so we're not going to spoil it. But yeah, no, Shadow Island is awesome. Again, thriller keeps you on your toes. You're caught, your heart's pumping as you're watching it. Yes, mm. great. We yeah. recommend it. Shadow Island. Third movie is another Liam Neeson one. And Shock. Oh, I thought that was no, the not. movie. I was like, shock. <laughs> Sorry. <no. laughs> All right, so it is taken. now. Hi, Daddy. You were supposed to call me when you landed. There's someone here. What? Oh, my God, they got Amanda. Okay, now, Robbie hasn't seen Taken. Find I've got a particular set of skills, you. I'll find you and I'll kill you. I've seen, yeah. I've heard about that, but I haven't actually seen Taken. And there's, what, two or three more sequels? Basically what happens is Liam Neeson, the main character again, 
His daughter goes on a trip with the best friend overseas. I think it's like one of her first trips alone or something. Mm -hmm. And gets stuck into some bad things. Yeah. And his mission is to go save her. There we go. Wow. So yeah, I assume I've watched like three Liam Neeson movies this now. This one's up there with the this other This one's ones. the best, one of the best. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, great. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, and I assume it'll be another thriller. Keep you on your toes. Keep you thinking. Psychological. So, yeah. Fourth one. Again, Robbie hasn't seen it yet. But I haven't seen any movies. You're, well, you're still learning all the I'm, thrillers. I'm learning. This one's 47 meters down. Kate, I don't know about this. Adios. Now, when you're watching it, it doesn't feel like a thriller, but it is a psychological twist to it. What kind of happens? What happens is... It stars Mandy Moore, who I really like. Um, mm -hmm. Mandy Moore and her sister, they're away overseas somewhere and they do the shark cage and what happens is the shark cage is dodgy and instead of it breaking like what you think, it drops. Oh, how heavy is the shark cage that it just drops? It drops 47 meters down to the bottom of the ocean. And what you think the ending is, it just, everything gets twisted. I wanna watch it now. It's a really good one. I'm a little bit scared, my heart's pounding. It scares me because I'm scared of sharks. So don't watch it if it's like summer season for you. <laughs> yeah, they watch it in winter, we watch recommend. Watch it in winter. Yeah, they, so what's that, 47 meters down? Yeah, so fifth and final one of our That's suggestions. 10. <laughs> 10 is another Liam Neeson movie because I really like him in the thrillers. What and a shock. it is non-stop. So Someone on this flight is threatening to kill someone every 20 minutes unless $150 million is transferred to this account number. So what happens in nonstop is Liam Neeson is on a plane and I'm not gonna spoil too much of the plot, but essentially the plane gets hijacked and yeah. Liam Neeson has to try and stop the hijackers. People are threatened to be killed. There's all that kind of so stuff. There's so much going yeah. on. So, yeah. I guess, but yeah, so that's the fifth thriller that we recommend. A lot of them are Neam, Neam Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson, yeah. we're big fans now. We do get, yeah, they're Liam Neeson heavy, but thrillers are awesome. <laughs> if you want to make this night even more special, I suggest you try our caramel popcorn Ooh, as a yeah. yummy snack. Absolutely. Now, we shocked ourselves because it tastes pretty authentic. Professional. We are going to link the full video on how to make the caramel popcorn in the description below. Yeah, make sure you comment down below what snacks you have on your date night or whether you tried our caramel popcorn mm. one. If you have a movie suggestion for us or if you've watched the movies that we've suggested. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. See, See ya! ya. <laughs> <laughs> your safe Sorry, zones. Safe zones. They are your safe I zones. I think my eyes are shut because I was wrong. <laughs> oh my god, Robbie!